we have to dive into this Lions game a little bit more. And nobody knows this game better than Chris Burke from the Athletic Detroit Lions beat writer. Did I get that right? It's right. A lot, of, a lot of pressure. There. A lot of pressure to live up pressure. to. But the, the, the thing about pressure is you have to be able to accept it. And the Lions win two straight games over teams that are in the bottom of the NFL. They come out. They have something to prove today against the Colts. And we saw what we saw. Yeah, I mean, I think that's been the problem for how long now? It's not a Matt Patricia thing. It's That was part of the reason Jim Caldwell got fired. They couldn't beat the really good teams on the schedule, and you see it again this year. The Packers, the Saints, the Colts, every time they have kind of these landmark games, this is the type of effort you get. And this was, I mean, this was a 20-point game that deserved to be a 20-point game. I mean, the Colts were much better than the Lions in the, for a lot of this game, especially in the trenches. I asked a lot of the players afterwards about you know, the, the, the theory of, oh, well, we had an off day. We had a bad day. It's like when you go golfing and sometimes you're in the 80s and sometimes you're in the 90s. Well, it's an off day, right? The Lions are not using that as an excuse, but every single phase had an off day today. I'm not in the 80s that much, so I don't know if I can <laughs> speak to that. But yeah, I mean, I think that's tough because it wasn't just the offense. It wasn't just the defense. You sort of saw it all snowball on them. And that's another thing that's happened. You know, you have one or two things go wrong and it all kind of falls apart. You get the pass interference penalty, you get the fumble from Matthew Stafford. Where's the big play that's gonna help you pull out of that? They haven't really had any of that either, and so you wind up again, you know, kind of scrambling, trying to get back in it, and then you run out of time and you lose another game that you, you can't afford to lose. I know that it was against Jacksonville and Atlanta, two teams that only have a combined one win, but at the same time, they looked more complete. The team played a more complete performance. Why, why are they not able to carry that to the third week? I, I mean, they keep saying that consistency. We don't have the consistency, but I, I think it's a fair question. Why isn't that happening? Is that coaching? Is that the players on this team? Is it just the game plan week to week isn't clicking? I don't know that there's one answer. I think it's a big problem across the board right now.